Former Premier Michael Mizek received red carpet treatment and a welcome fit for a king when he arrived in Providenciales on the evening of Monday, January 13th. <laughs> I'm Tadlene Dafflin and thanks for watching this edition of Sun TV News. After being released on bail from prison in Grand Turk, an extremely large and vocal crowd gathered outside the Provo Airport Center to greet Mizek, who is still obviously very popular among locals. There was also a major celebration in Grand Turk when he came out of prison. When Mizek arrived in Providenciales just after 7 p.m. on a private plane owned and piloted by businessman Creighton Hicks, a red carpet was rolled out for him at the step of the plane. The former premier was accompanied on the plane by the country's second premier, Gelmo Williams, former cabinet minister, McAllister Piper Henschel, and his lawyer, Jamal Mizek, and his brother, Joey Mizek. As soon as he got off the plane, the 47-year-old former premier was greeted by former deputy premier, Lillian Boyce, his cousin, Claudette Gibson, and staff of Provo Air Center. After telling Sun TV that it felt great to be free, he was then driven off where a huge crowd was waiting for him outside the private airport. Here's what it looked and sounded like. <laughs> After the warm reception, there was a large motorcade to Bishop Kalita Williams' Abundant Life Ministry Church on Leeward Highway, which was packed to capacity. The former premier, who returned from Brazil on January 7th, delivered a passionate speech which was very well received by the congregation. He spoke about his days in Brazilian prison and the impact which it had on his life. It is so good to be back home. When you hear people say there's no place like home, trust me, there's no place like home. Now, we have to be brief, and obviously I'm not going to get into details of uh, all of the, the events that have taken place because of uh, ongoing uh, trial and all that. But I want to share just a few words with you. Because the last year I've been in prison in Brazil. Being in prison anywhere is not good. By the grace of God, and you go through these things in life for a reason. Everything happens for a reason. And my friends, in order to have a testimony, you have to go through a test. You see, some of us want a testimony, but we don't want to be tested. And for the last year, I've been tested. And what kept me going is my faith. And the scriptures, and, and I, 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 I read the Bible every day. And one of the verses that stuck with me is that if you have, if you have faith the size of a mustard seed, you can move mountains. Because I never, I expect that this day would come, but it seemed so far. 
Every time we go closer, it seems further and further away. But it's through God's grace and His mercy that kept me. And because of the love that I know you have for me and I have for you, it's kept me. I wanted to come back home to see you and to be among you. Not as a former premier, but as your cousin, as your friend. And I'm so overwhelmed by the outpouring of love that I received throughout the Church of Kegas Island and Grand Church when I came up the plane and here tonight. And in everything, we must give God thanks. Yes. And what this experience has done for me has yes. brought me closer to God. Yes. Because I used to hear Bishop preach when I come to church and say, that if God take you to it, he'll take you through it. Yes. And now I can testify that he's right. Yes. Because in the early dark days of being in prison, I thought that I would never make it. But being alone and praying in my cold, dark cell and asking God for the strength, for the peace, for patience, and for the courage to make it so that I can come back home to you. Mizek, who faces several corruption charges and was released on $10 million bail, said that it is time for the Turks and Caicos Islands to be taken back from the Brits. We have a great country. Yes. I'd like to acknowledge all of you here, some of the presence of the Premier and, and other ministers. We have a great country, Mr. Premier. We have a great country, my people. But we have to take our country back. We have to take our country back. We have to be relentless. We have nothing to fail. If you can conquer fear, then you can conquer anything. Because it's fear that robs us of our ambition. Fear rob us of our destiny. Yes. It is our destiny to be a free people, yes. to be a prosperous people. Yes. And we should not be afraid yes. to demand that we get our country back. Yes. We have so many bright, educated, intelligent Turks and Kegas Islanders. Yes. And this is a blessed country. Yes. We have God in the midst. With God by our side. And with us deciding that we're not going to be afraid anymore. That no matter how hard they try, that we're going to stand up and be counted. And even if you have to go through persecution, you have to stand for what you believe. You have to not be afraid. You have to not say wrong and call it right. We have to go back to basics. That's right. Family, That's right. prayer, yes. God. Yes. Bishop Kalida Williams called on people of the Turks and Caicos Islands to unite and throw their support behind the former premier. The current premier of the Church Skagas Islands, Dr. Rufus Ewing, also attended the church service along with members of his cabinet. In his address to the congregation, Dr. Ewing said it was great that Mizek had returned to the Church Skagas Islands. Mizek, we are delighted and excited to have you back home to your soil, son of soil here in Church Skagas. Um, I am sure that we have much to do, much work to do. We're all praying for you, we'll continue to pray for you, and we know that God is good, and He will continue to be good. Continue to be good to you, continue, continue to be good to Turks and Caicos. We pull you through it, you pull us through it together. Right? So, 
enjoy, and we will surely enjoy having you. Catch you back. We will enjoy having you, and together we will do it. Yes. Well, that's our Sun TV news brief for today. Join us again tomorrow when we bring you real news as it happens directly to your computer, mobile device, or smartphone. If you know anyone living overseas who would like to keep up with what is happening in the Turks and Caicos Islands, get them to email us at sun at suntci.com so we can add them to our mailing list to get Sun TV news. Thanks for watching. I'm Todd Lean Dafferlin.